students, this is Unit 7, Circles, Lesson 7.7, .7, Circle Equation. You are here in your video notes. Don't forget a date, time, and location for this. Make sure you turn off all distractions. <laughs> Do not attempt to multitask. All right, these two problems are review problems. I expect you to first attempt them on your own. Do not, I repeat, do not just follow along and copy the answer. Do this on your own, work in pencil, and then grab your red pens and hit the restart button. Ready? Pause. Work on your own, please. Welcome back. Now switch to a red pen. I expect to see your work in pencil. Let's go ahead and it says that we have an oil bed, oil bed. I'm going to bracket this right here. This is four inches. The ramp to the loading dock is 20 feet long. That is this length right here. The loading dock is 20 feet. And we're asking how many revolutions will it take in order to put that barrel up to the Every time the gravity, you guys figured out the lesson is the code for circumference. So it's asking how many circumferences does it take to get up there? If you were to put that barrel on its side and roll it. So let's write our equation out. C equals D pi. Like this in here, that's going to be 34 inches times pi. And you should have gotten 106.81 approximately for your That means when that all rolls, 106.81 inches. Now be very careful because it's not traveling in inches, it's traveling in feet. So we need to take that feet and translate it into inches. You convert your units before you crunch your numbers. So you should have times that by 12 in order to get it to inches. Wow, forgive me, Miss. I just used a calculator for 12 times 20. That was not the right thing to do. All you do is you basically. Yeah, there we go. 240, of course. 240 inches. Please forgive me for grabbing a calculator for that. So we need to travel 240 inches. And every time the barrel rolls, it's only going to go 106.81 inches. We divide one by the other to figure out how many of these go into this. And we get approximately 2.25. Rotations. So the barrel is going to roll twice in order to get up there and then a quarter way around and that amount of rolling will reach the top of the ramp. Double check your work. Take a moment. I'm going to be looking for this. I'd like you to summarize three key concepts or three things you need to remember this type of problem. I'm going to be looking for those three bullets when I correct your work. Pause the video and restart. All right, let's check this one over here. We have here and one in bullets. Add on arms and hands grab. So if this back here is 32 and a scribe angle, that's when you're using the post. This up here is 64. 
them. Look very carefully that you this entire book is realized there's nothing that exact thing. So if that's four back here, there's also 32. I'm going to work this triangle here. We're going to add 85 plus 32. Take that away from 180. And we get 63 back here. And if you look very carefully, this should have been an inscribed angle as well, going this way. If that's 63, we can go like that. We double it. That's going to be 120. Now this pink angle is a chord core, which means it is half the sum of the arcs is stride. So let's go angle equals half the sum of the arcs it strides, which means we should have gotten 64 and 126. Of course, you get 190 divided by 2, and we're going to get 95. Now, how do I absolutely know I'm correct? Because 180, 180 minus the 85, 90. That makes this 85 as well. Back here, this is 3. And students, be very careful. This did not go through the center of the circle. You have diameters. Although you have the this is not 85 because it is not so angle. Be careful with that. This is you if you put 85 on the outside, but you can't actually find those because that point right there is not the center of the circle. It says it's circle O. So your center is actually right there. All right, there's our review for today. Now let's get into our new stuff. You're going to be doing a lot of this in Algebra 2. They're called conics. Conics. You'll have all three weeks on this. Today we're going to learn about the center of the circle, radius, equation of the circle, distance, something called an ellipse. We're going to talk about the origin. Let me briefly explain what a conic section is. A conic section is simply the cross section of a cone. That's why it's called a conic section. It's cross section. So imagine if you had a solid cone here. You have a solid cone here. And if you were to slice that cone straight across, straight across like that, Taking a knife and cutting straight across. If you were to slice it and straight across, you end up with a circle. If you slice that cone at an angle towards the top, you would have what looks like an elongated circle, better known as an ellipse. So if you slice it that way towards the top, you have an ellipse. If you slice it towards the bottom or closer to the bottom, you'd end up hitting the flat surface. And that section is called, of course, parabola. And then you have what are called hyperbolas. These are all called conic sections. They all have mathematical equations, just like a line has the equation y equals mx plus b. If you see that, you know you're going to be graphing a line. Every single one of these also have corresponding equations. For today, we're only focused on a circle. You're going to say and trace this out loud with me, please. Definition of a circle. Let's just say it twice. Definition of a circle. The set of all 
points which are equal distance from a single point. I want you to say it out loud with me right now. Put your finger right there and say it out loud. A circle is a set of all points which are equal distance from a single point. Now, watch very carefully. As I say this again, we're going to trace at the same time. Ready? A circle is the set of all points. What I'm doing, the set of all points, which are equal distance from a center point. Let's try that again. This is really important that you translate that phrase into picture. Ready? A circle is the set of all points which are equal distance from a single point. Now, when we said a set of all points, what we were physically tracing is the circle itself, the outer circle. So it's a set of all points. When you connect them, you have a circle. When we said distance from a center point, notice what we actually traced. The radius. So in this definition, the word distance equals radius. See that word distance? Let's go ahead and write out the distance equation. That's our distance equation. Ready? So when we say distance in a circle, we actually mean a radius. So let's bring this down here. Radius. The length of that radius is going to equal okay, So we're evolving here. But in a circle, when we say equal distance from a center point, that center point has specific variables. We don't call that center point H M. I mean, excuse me, X and Y. The coordinates of the center are specifically labeled H and Y. So regardless of where the center is, it's H and K. Knowing that, let's bring this equation down. Radius equals... But instead of using this x, we're going to use h. So we're going to go like this direction. So our radius equals x minus h, y minus k. h and k are the x and y coordinates specifically of the center of the circle. Now for the circle equation, we make a little bit more simple. We're going to square both sides. Behold the equation. Ready? Radius squared equals x minus a minus this is the equation of the circle. Just like y equals mx plus b is the equation of a line. So right here, this is the actual equation you will see is this. x minus h, parentheses squared, y minus k, parentheses squared, equals radius squared. That is the equation of the circle. There's three skills that you have to know using this equation of a circle. 
you have to build an equation. You have to be able to pull it apart and graph. Build, pull apart, graph. Let's do all three. Build. We're going to write an equation of a circle with a center of negative zero, radius two root seven. Step one, always write the actual equation. X minus H is squared, Y minus H is equal to the root square. Now, in this, the center of the circle is the H in your case. So, and you already have the great. I'd like you to physically connect this with O. We're going to make this three. We're going to put it right there. Circle to zero. We're going to put it right there. Circle to two root seven, the radius. Now, let's build an equation. We're going to put right here, we're going to put negative 3 right there. We're going to put a 0 there. And we're going to put a 2 root 7 there. So we write the equation. You write it out. You plug it in. And then you do what's called cleanup. This is easier than you think it is. Ready? Watch what I mean by cleanup. We have a double negative, so x three becomes x plus three. Parentheses squared. Y minus nothing is simply one. Remember, exponents expand, so you write it out. We're going to square two root seven exponents. You expand it. How do you it? 2 times 2 is 4, root 7 times root 7 is 7. And you have done, folks, there is nothing else to do. That is building the equation of a circle. Build. Let's try pull apart. This one's even easier than that. So we're going to find the center of the circle, right above the word center, like HK, and the radius length. We want the radius length given this equation of the circle. Let's start by writing our equation. X minus H, parenthesis squared, and color coding line. Y minus K, parenthesis squared, equals radius squared. Very, very careful here. All we have to do is figure out our H, our K, and our radius is. Our H is right there. Okay. It's right there. And our radius goes right there. So be very careful here. Your H, in order to, for that to be positive, your H had to have been negative 2. For that to remain negative, your K had to be positive 5. Now we just R squared equals 49. The opposite of squaring is square rooting, so our radius is 7. So we have the center of the circle is going to be 
our H would have to be negative 2, because a double negative makes a positive. Our K is positive 5. And our radius is 7. That's called pulling apart. Now to graph, the first step to graphing is pulling apart. That's why you have to learn to pull apart. You want to write the equation out right underneath, line it right. Okay, now you want to pull out your H and your A. Take a close look here. Your H, whatever we plugged into A, the end of the A, had to have been negative, makes A. So H had to have been 5. Your K, the sign didn't swap there, so that's a positive 3. And your radius, r squared equals 16. That means your radius is 4. I love graphing circles. They are so, so easy. They are so much easier than lines. There's only two things you need, a center and a radius. So the center of our circle is going to be at negative Positive 3. We come over here, negative 5. Positive 3. That's the HK center of our circle. Now, to actually graph the circle from that center point, we're going to count out the radius and simply go north, south, east, west. I'm going to bunny hunt. Four units and put a guide dot there. Go to the right. Put a guide dot there. Down. Guide dot. Left. Guide dot. Using those four guide dots, go ahead and draw your circle. I'm not going to grade you on whether or not you make it a circle ish. And there is your circle, friends. Ready? I'd like you to write out what are the three steps to graph a circle. Write out your own three steps there. I'm going to be looking for that. Ready? Pause and write that out. Welcome back. Your job is this. You're going to build your own equation. You're going to pull apart your own equation. And last but not least, you're going to graph your own equation. Do this completely on your own. And then restart the video. Pause. Welcome back. Let's see how you did here. Get out your red pins. And to see the question. So we want the equation of a circle with a center, negative 2, negative 5, and a radius 3 root 5. So we write the equation of a circle first. I'm color coding mine. There's your H, there's your H. K, A. Radius, radius. Plug it in, plug it up. If we take that H, we're going to put it right there. That K should go right there. And that radius, right there.
That's negative 2. Negative 5. And this is 3 root 5. Now you just simply clean it up a little bit. And the final version of the equation should have looked like this. X double negative, so that's x plus 2, parentheses squared, y plus 5, parentheses squared, and exponents you expand. So 3 root 5 times 3 root 5, outies, 9 innies, 5. Your final answer. So in red pen, I'd like you to correct your work. If it was right, giant smiley star. If you miss something, I want a note in the margin. What are you going to do different next time? This one, you should have found the center of the circle and the radius. Let's start by writing the equation right underneath. X minus H, parentheses squared. Y minus A, parentheses squared equals radius squared. So our x here, you ask yourself, x minus what would just be x? x minus what would just be x? Minus nothing is x. So your h here is a big fat zero. Your k, notice the pin swaps, so your k would have to be negative 7. We have r squared equals 64. That means your radius is 8. So your h is 0 and negative 2, and your radius is 8. There's the center of the circle and the radius. If you're right, big star, smiley, something like that. If you're wrong, I expect a little note. What are you going to remember next time? Last one, it's a graph. All right, we asked ourselves what our h is. Our h, notice it's not swapped, so our h is going to be positive 5. Our k, look, there's nothing there. There's nothing there. There's nothing there. So your k is going to be 0. Radius is, you should have graphed it at 5 and 0. There's your HK, and then your radius, you simply bunny hop. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Five, and five. Connect your dots, and you have yourself your circle. Ready? If you did this right, wonderful. Smiley star. If you did something wrong here, I expect to see a little note about what are you going to remember next time. Students, take two minutes and verbally rehearse what you've learned in this lesson. That will help solidify what you have learned. 